everyone, it's iTalkApple, and today I'm featuring one of my new favorite Mac apps. It's called Smarter, and I'll open it up on the App Store here. It's available for $2.99, or you can get the light version for free, of course. It does limit you to only 100 flashcards, so like you've probably figured out, Smarter is a flashcard app, or they call it a learning tool and study aid. and what it does is helps you study from your flashcards and quizzes you pretty much. And the quizzes are based on your performance from previous quizzes. So it learns which um, cards you're not as good at and then tests you on those more often, which is great for studying. It's really productive. Um, as you can see, it's a nice looking app from the screenshot. Obviously, I'm going to show you. Don't worry. Actually, I'll show you right now. So I'm going to launch the app. It's actually earned a spot in my dock, which is unusual. I've downloaded lots of flashcard apps in the past, studying apps, but I've never really used them. Even though I've told myself that I was going to use them, I just never did. This is different. I've only had it for a few days, but I know that I will be using this for the rest of my high school career. Um, so here's the uh, main window. You can see I've got two stacks of cards. One is Spanish verbs and then one's acids and base stuff, um, but that doesn't really matter. You can see it's a really nice interface which makes it even more pleasant to use because I know most of you probably don't like studying, but this makes it a little nicer. Um, you can create a new stack with this button, so stacks are for like different topics that you want to quiz yourself on. If I select a stack, this is what it looks like. So these are Spanish verbs that need prepositions. And I can go through these cards and just look at them. These specific cards are vocabulary cards, or they call them definition cards, or okay, they do call them vocabulary cards. Anyways, when you create a new card, you go down here to this little plus button. But before you click the plus button, you can choose what type of card you want to create. So for example, I could create a picture card. So if you're in like an art history class, I'll hit the plus button. Um, I know kids at my school in art history have to know like artists of pictures and analyze them and things like that. You can drag the picture, write a description, add the artist. It's great for studying um, things like that. Um, that's probably also useful for like geography tests. You could put a picture of the country or place or something like that. And yeah, so that's how easy it is to create a card. It's also really fast because you can use keyboard shortcuts. Command N will create a new card. You can enter all your stuff. You can just hit tab to go to the next space and then Command N to create another new card. So it was easy for me to create all of these um, vocab cards pretty quickly. Um, so if I go home, I'm gonna show you the acid base cards for studying. These are question and answer cards. And you can actually edit them. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a question. You can change what this is. You can change the label. So you can really customize like the template of the card to what the specific topic needs. So I'm gonna hit study. And this is the interface for studying. Very simple, great for focusing, no distractions. And for me, that's really important because I get distracted easily when I'm at a computer. So this question is not very specific. Um, Bronson-Lari theory, which is that um, acid, acids and bases are relative. Um, acid is a proton donor. Base is a proton acceptor. And if I hit show answer, it asks me if I get it right because it's hard to get the question completely exactly 100% right. You can't really check that. Obviously this is right, but it didn't write exactly what I had on the card. So I'll hit yes. How to determine strong ternary acids. Um, number of O must exceed number of H by two or more. Show answer. Yes, I got it right. So that's the gist of it. I'll exit this. And so that's what it's like with question and answer. It's slightly different with uh, vocabulary cards. So I'll hit study and it asks me to invite 
which is invitar a. And since I got the answer completely correct, it automatically does the little ding. It says great. It doesn't ask me if I got it correct. I'll hit continue. Irse a. Um, so let's say I get this wrong. Let's say I say it's to come. It's actually to go or to leave. So I'll hit no. And you saw it turned red briefly. But now it's going to test me on Irse a little more. Anyways, that's what it's like for vocab. And you can see that's really all there is to it. Super like simple. I mentioned, I love this app. I'm definitely going to use it on a regular basis. I recommend you try it out since um, there is a free version, although it does limit you to 100 cards. But think about it this way. $2.99, um, if you do handwritten flashcards already, eventually you're going to spend more than $2.99 on buying um, note cards to make flashcards with. So you might as well invest in this app. And a few things that I wish it had were... Um, I wish it had an iPhone app to go with it. I think it'd be great since I always have my iPhone with me that way on the bus to school or something. I can always study my um, my cards. Another thing is I wish that it let you do superscripts and subscripts. So like for chemistry, I can write chemical formulas correctly. Anyways, those are pretty much the only things that I wish the app could improve on. Otherwise, it's definitely my favorite app for studying and I recommend so it. So that's it for this video. Hope it helped you out and make sure to check it out on the App Store because it's not gonna hurt to download a free app.